My dear student, welcome to this series on mathematics. Today we are going to look at the chapter numerical method, part two. In part one, you remember, we looked at what is a numerical method, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, and then when do we use a numerical method. And then finally, we ended up the first part by showing to you how to calculate the initial solution. We are going to apply this to a particular problem. Suppose that you are asked to show that a root of the equation x cubed plus x minus 5 equal to 0 lies between 1 and 2. Part B, find an estimate of x node. Part C, show that the iterative method to xn cube plus 5 over 3 xn squared plus 1 converges to a root of x cube plus x minus 5 equal to 0. Use the method to find the root to three decimal places. Now, solution. The equation must be written in the form of x equal to zero. It's already in that form, so I'm going to take fx to be x cubed plus x minus 5. I'm asked to prove that the root lies between 1 and 2, so I calculate f of 1, 1 cubed plus 1 minus 5, which is minus 3, 1 plus 1, 2, minus 5, minus 3. I calculate f2. 2 cube plus 2, I replace x by 2, 2 cube plus 2 minus 5, which is 5. So f1 times f2 minus 3 times 5, which is minus 15, which is less than 0. So a root lies between 1 and 2. Now, the next part asks us to estimate x node. How do you find x node? Since I've already proved that the root lies between 1 and 2, I'm going to take the average, 1.5. Okay? Now, here, the iterative method has already been given. You remember in part one, we said, how does an iterative method look like? You have only one x on the left-hand side, and all the terms in x are on right-hand side. If the method converges, that is, it produces the root, what happens? There is absolutely no difference between the iterates and x, which is root. At convergence, this is what should happen. So, if this iterative method that has been given to us converges to the root of the equation, what I'm going to do then, replace xn plus 1 by x, which is the root, xn by x, 
and then here xn by x. We cross multiply 3x cubed plus x, 2x cubed plus 5, transfer all the terms on right hand side. 3x cubed minus 2x cubed leaves me with x cubed plus x is here, plus 5 comes here, minus 5 equal to 0. So we have proved that the iterative method, this iterative method, if it converges, it will converge to a root of this equation, x cubed plus x minus 5. So how did we do that? In simple terms, we replace xn plus 1 and xn by x, which is the root, because this is what happened at convergence. Now, we are going to use this. Let's see how do I actually use the iterative method. The iterative method xn plus 1 equal to 2 xn cubed plus 5. So step one here will be replace n by 0. So what will happen here if I replace n by 0? 0 plus 1, which is x1. So I replace n by 0 here, it will become 2 x node q plus 5 divided by, replace n by 0, 3 x node square plus 1. Now, remember, x node, we have found x node. x node is 1.5, so this is 1.5 cube plus 5 over 3, 1.5 square plus 1. I'll let you calculate that for me. Now, if we calculate that, the answer will be 1.51613. You will see that I have written the answer to five decimal places, whereas the answer that we have to find must be given to three decimal places. So it is, we always advise students to have two decimal places more during the calculation. Now, what do I need to do here at this stage? Remember, x note was 1.5. We calculated x note here, 1.5. And then x1 equal to 1.51613. Are they equal to three decimal places? Are they equal to three decimal places? No. Not equal to three decimal places. They are not equal. So if they are not equal, I must use the iterative method a second time. So what I'm going to do here, I replace n by 1. When I replace n by 1, what will happen here? 1 plus 1. So I'll get 1 plus 1 x2. I replace n by 1 here, so I'll get 2 x1 cube plus 5 divided by 3 x1 squared plus 5. Now, remember that you should use the most accurate answer that you have, that is 1.51613 divided by
and the answer that we get is 1.51598. That's x2. Should I stop or should I continue? If we compare the values that we had, we had x1 equal to 1.5. 1, 6 to 3 decimal places. And then here I have x2. 1, 6 to 3 decimal places. And they are equal. Since they are equal, I will say that the root is 1.516. So, in this question... We were asked to prove that the root of x cubed plus x minus 5 lies between 1 and 2. To find an estimate of that root, to show that this method actually converges to a root of the equation, of the given equation, and to find the root to three decimal places. So, the root to three decimal places is 1.516. How many times did I use the iterative method? Twice, to be able to obtain the root to three decimal places. So, my dear students, this brings an end to the second part of the lesson on numerical method. I hope that you have enjoyed that part as well as the first part. In the third part, we are going to take another example and also show to you how you can actually write your own numerical method. Until next time, it's goodbye from us. <music>